I'm Tatum with Elevate Iowa, and today we are visiting Red Boot Distillery in Des Moines. The reason for our visit is to learn more about Red Boot Distillery, Iowa's largest contract spirit bottling and cocktail canning company. We will also learn a little about what a career at Red Boot looks like. I'm so excited. Let's head in and talk with the founder, Stuart Oxer. Hi, Stuart. It's great to be here. Can you tell me a little bit about your organization? Absolutely. Uh, Red Boot Distillery has been around for four years. We manufacture um, all different types of beverages, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Started with one employee in 2018, had 10 employees at the beginning of 2020, and now we have 60 employees here. We're in uh, two locations, have about 70,000 square feet, and uh, we're the largest um, um, bottler of alcoholic beverages in Iowa. That's a lot of growth. What else would you say makes your company such a success? We have a great crew that um, that are very flexible and able to do different things. They're willing to go to the craziest um, uh, requests that our customers have and they just figure out a way to get it done. When you're looking for employees to join your team, what are you looking for? The two most important things are reliability. We're looking for someone that's going to be able to come in every day because when you work in manufacturing, you need to work as a team. And the other is a good heart. We can train anybody to do the job as long as they're willing to learn and have that willing to be here every day, willing to listen to others and just really want to grow their career. What kind of advanced manufacturing jobs are available in your organization? A lot of our equipment is heavily automated, computer controlled, so we have um, canning machines that are all guided by electronics. We also going to be getting a packaging machine in thanks to a, a grant from the um, Manufacturing 4.0 from the state of Iowa. That's going to be heavily automated. What is your company's philosophy regarding ongoing training? Training is critical. Um, for our success. Uh, we're very, very thankful that we've been able to receive some grants from DMAC to uh, assist our folks in training. When we br first brought in our canning machines, it was a huge piece of equipment, came in uh, multiple crates. So we went through the training of putting it together, how it operates. As we're able to develop our people and grow, they're able to make more money and uh, advance their career. production room with Soshi. Soshi, what is your role here at Red Boot Distillery? Well, basically I'm a supervisor of the line and I do a variety of the lines, like which I can check in the machine, like filling, like tape, and labeling, and of course uh, putting in the boxes and everything, make sure everything is all right. How long have you been working here? About two years. Did you come in with any experience or did you learn everything once you got here on the job? Oh, I learned everything over here. What is it that you like most about your job here? Not every day is the same thing. So I can do like one day something different and the next day I can do something different. So that's what I like. It's not always the same. When you walk through the store and see your product on the shelf, how does that make you feel? Well, I'm, I'm so, of course I'm proud. Yeah, I'm proud of the, the sea and you know, they see how they is feeling, how they look like in the shells, which uh, when I when I get the bottles, like empty bottles, but I see all the process like filling, taping and labeling and packing it and seeing the stories, I'm I'm, I'm proud. us a lot about your manufacturing process. Do you think there's a misconception regarding manufacturing being a dirty job? Absolutely. I've worked in um, the mining industry for a while and those are very dirty jobs, a lot of dirt, a lot of metal. Things are clean here. We're a food manufacturer, beverage manufacturer, so we need to follow all the FDA rules so we keep everything clean. Most of the items we have, as you can see, weigh less than a pound and so people will process that through um, the different pieces of equipment. You just have to be able to pay attention and um, to focus on quality. You mentioned you have a very diverse workforce. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. Um, one of the misconceptions people have about manufacturing is they're all men. Our, the predominant um, number of employees we have are women. 
the majority of our employees are immigrants, are folks from Central America, several from Africa, um, Mexico, and all different places around. What are you most proud of as it relates to your organization? Very proud of the diversity of our organization, from the employees that work very, very hard to our products. We um, produce over 5 million bottles a year, from small little uh, airplane bottle sizes up to um, uh, one and a half, or up to a half a gallon bottles of uh, beverages. So very happy and excited about that, and excited about the growth that we've had through great employees, and then the growth that we're gonna have in the future because of all the great things that we've built. When you're walking through the store and see one of your products on the shelf, how does that make you feel? Make me feel very, very, very good. When I see like people, they keep come and high vee different store to buy our product. I feel very, 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 very good. I really enjoyed our tour today. Another example of a great manufacturing company in Iowa. To learn more about advanced manufacturing, visit elevateiowa.com.